Hi YouTube, Studog here, got a new video today, going to be going over the new cards that have been revealed really, really early for new challenges, it's going to be kind of a discussion to you, like a discussion in a news video, so a discussion on this game getting way too expensive for, you know, just the average player, and um, obviously, you know, a news video, because, you know, a lot of this stuff, you know, shouldn't have been revealed this early. I mean, the fact that the sneak peek isn't till freaking November 1st. I mean, that's past Halloween, and Halloween seems like years away. So, yeah. So, anyway, um, here's the pictures. It's on the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization website. I think it was leaked, you know, about a couple days ago. So, you know, yesterday you got to see my video on the 5Ds, Legendary Collection 5Ds. And, yeah, there it is right there. So, <laughs> There you go. So if you haven't checked out the, that video, go look at it. But I mean, um, I just I feel that this game has just gotten way too expensive. You know, while, with all these new sets. I mean, you have stuff like Next Challengers, or yeah, and Duelist Alliance with 15 money cards, average projected booster value four dollars, and you got like countless twenty dollar plus cards, thirty dollar plus cards, Dante sixty dollars. I mean, you got, for Quill Put, I mean, this is already going to be really expensive. I mean, you need you need to play, you know, at least, um, I think, at least three of the set, level 7 guy. Odd Ice Pendulum Dragon's already, like, $20. That's probably going to go up in price. And, I mean, I don't even know what other rarity. Like, I look at the, the stuff here. We got this guy and this guy, which are also super rares that are going to be, you know, at least a good old, probably, like, $5. But, I mean, still, yeah, I mean, depending on how many you got to play, it's going to be, you know, quite a bit of money. I mean, these secret rares... I mean, the, the new Burning Abyss, you know, um, whatever it's called, uh, the Synchro that says one tuner plus one or more non-tuner. So it's a generic level six Synchro that says, uh, they, they just had to make it generic, but it says once per turn, or you can only control one Vagar Rex Star, the Burning Abyss. Once per turn, you can discard one Burning Abyss card, then target one card your opponent, con opponent controls or have in their graveyard, shuffle it into the deck. If this card on the field will be destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can draw one card. You can only use the effect once per turn. Yeah, that's good. And the, it's a generic. Well, actually, you can only use its effect if you have a Burning Abyss. So, I mean, I, I don't really, really see other decks, you know, using this card. But, you know, still, it's really good. It, it spins a card back. It, I mean, it does target, but, I mean, 2,500 attack, that's pretty good. And it's a floater, too, when it's destroyed by battle or by card effect. I mean, dang. I mean, at least Mathematician, you only get the effect when it's destroyed by battle. But, I mean, there you go. But, I mean, this guy, obviously, going to be quite a bit of money, if not, like, 30-plus. I mean, if Dante is already, like, 60, I mean, freaking, I could easily see this guy going for 30. I mean, the Quill Put guys, that's going to be probably at least 20 apiece. I mean, the new Solemn, whatever it's called, Adversary, is that what it's called? I forgot, but the, the new Solemn card is going to be, you know, at least a good old $20, too. I mean, and the freaking, they just had to make the new shit all Fusion guys Secret Rare, too. I mean, seriously, like, I personally feel, you know, Secret Rares... I have just been ruining this game, you know, uh, this is supposed to be, you know, quote-unquote, a children's card game, but uh, that is completely just not true, because there's no way in a million years a children or a child could afford, you know, this stuff. I mean, you got stuff like Vanity's Emptiness, which is ran at multiples, two to three, $25 common. You have to be spending, you know, at least $50 just on two commons, just on two generic commons to, you know, be competitive in this game. And, you know, a lot of people play three. You got to pay, you know, $75. It's almost like, I mean, that's not even, you're not paying for, you know, the main cards in your deck. Just two random generic good trap cards, 25 a piece. I mean, there's no way a child could possibly afford them. I mean, for $50, you get, like, what, a freaking Xbox game, to be honest. I mean, you got Duelist Alliance, 15 plus money cards. I mean, all the secret rares are quite a bit. Like, the Yangzing secret rare, the Pot of Avarice is t still $20. Deneb, you know, $30. El Shadal Construct, $10. Freaking Shadal Fusion, $15. I mean, uh, Mid Rash, obviously, you know, a good old $30. And Sinister Shadow Games, a good old $30. I mean, there's, I don't see how that's possible for a child to, you know, afford that. I mean, you got the new Shadal Fusions that just make Super Poly more live. And, you know, I don't really know their effects, but I mean, they're secret rare. I mean, they're new Shadal guys. So, I mean, I could technically see, you know, people you know, at least playing one of them, and, you know, we got no new Nordic support here, which is kind of funny, because I had, I made a video on decks that desperately need new support, and, like, the thumbnail was Nordics, and I didn't even know Nordics were actually getting new support in the next challenges, so, I mean, I guess that's pretty nice, too, so, and, I mean, depending on how good these are, I mean, that'll be pretty nice, and, I know, here's the old stuff from the previous video, 
got other pictures here, but I mean, I don't really know who, like, leaked these or who, you know, got a hold of this stuff so early, but I mean, I guess props to you, and I mean, like, I, I don't even know how that's possible. Like, you must have opened a lot of packs, or you, you must work for Konami or something, but anyway, just a lot of this stuff, you know, I can already tell is going to be, you know, a lot of money, and, you know, this is only going to make this stuff from Duelist Alliance, you know, go up more, or keep their value, maintain their value, and, you know, go more you know, up in price, if you know what I mean, but anyway, that's my discussion video, just a lot of the hollows, you get to see, you know, a lot of the hollows and the rarities, mainly the quill port stuff, quill put, I don't really know how to pronounce it, I know Ubo Mastery says, like he says he's taken a class on it, and it's called, pronounced quill put, but I mean, other people are calling it quill fort, and I'm like, you know what, I don't even care. But anyway, these are mainly the rarities for a lot of the stuff, and this isn't even all of it, because I know the cool put disc you know from what i see i didn't see it in here so who knows hopefully that can just be you know like a common or rare but i mean still this guy burning abyss you know getting new support including the synchro guy which is going to be quite a bit of money and then like i'm, I'm pretty sure cool put has to play at least three of the the whatever it's called the level seven guy which is going to be you know quite a bit of money just uh just too much money for my eyes and the fact that, you know, we have Duelist Alliance, which, you know, has, you know, shit all, so much money. Sinister Shadow, Shadow Games, $30 card. Um, con or, yeah, Construct and Winda, you know, just all that stuff. You know, Winda, $30. Construct, you know, at least a good old 10 to 12 Shit all Fusion, $10 a piece. Not, and not even counting the Vanity's Emptiness or, you know, the Exciton Knights that you have to play. I mean, Exciton Knight's still a $30 card. It got reprinted, but still $30 for an Exciton Knight. I mean, same thing with Draco Sack. I mean, they got reprinted, but it's still $20 just for one extra deck card. So, you know, personally, I feel this game is still... It's just getting more and more expensive with this new stuff coming out. And, you know, if you, any of you guys, you know, have any thoughts on this or any ideas, you know, on what Konami should do. I mean, I know getting rid of the secret rares would be, you know, better just because I know Japan doesn't have secret rares, you know, from what I know or the OCG in general, but anyway, that's pretty much all I got to say on this video, obviously, if you haven't checked out my podcast, I'll have it in my description of all my videos now, so you can go check it out if you're bored and you want more stew dog, you can go check out the podcast and, you know, listen, listen to that in the car or something, I don't even know, but anyway, thank you guys for watching as always, and until next time, this is stew dog, signing out.